and welcome to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here today. In this video, we are going to be decorating my kitchen and my hot cocoa bar for Christmas. And I just cannot wait to see these spaces kind of come to life with Christmas spirit and Christmas cheer. I really hope that you find some decorating inspiration in this video. And I'm so excited to share that I'm going to be posting my Christmas home tour video on Monday the 16th. So make sure you're subscribed so that you see that one. It's going to be so good and so much fun. It's going to be a collab with some of my favorite YouTube girls and I just cannot wait. So make sure you stick around and are subscribed and have your notification bell turned on so that you don't miss that one. If you are new here, I'm so happy that you took a second to check us out. My name is Skye and my husband Chad and I own an online interior decor shop called House and Home. And over on this channel, we love to share all things home from DIYs to decor hauls, decorating ideas, and so much more. So let's get to decorating. I'm going to share my little stash that I have set out on my kitchen countertops of the decor that I've gathered over the years. And some of these pieces are house and home pieces as well. So I just cannot wait. Let's get right into this. Hi friends, so it's actually a new day as you might be able to tell from my outfit change, but it ended up getting really dark really fast and cloudy and rainy on the day that I started filming this video and I really just wanted you guys to love it and I didn't want it to be really dark and grainy. So here we are, it's a new day. I'm so excited to decorate my kitchen for Christmas with you. So here is kind of what I am working with in this space. A lot of these pieces I have already had. Some of them are new from Target and from our shop house and home. So I'll be sure to share each one of those with you as we're kind of going through this at the end, but I cannot wait to see this space decorated for Christmas. Well, I'm all for Christmas All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow Whatever we do, we will be alright These holiday wonders will open your mind May all your wishes tonight come true The love I live, the dream I knew This Christmas I only wanna be close to you Magical time full of kisses Take a walk outside and tickle the snowman's nose Moving nimbly Did you hear something from the chimney? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow
our kitchen all decked out for Christmas this year. I hope that this gives you some decor inspiration if you have kind of a farmhouse style kitchen like ours. And if not, I still hope it gives you some inspiration because I definitely don't think that all of these pieces are strictly farmhouse decor. So over here, I have this super cute bread bin that is our, from our shop, House and Home. And then this really pretty berry wreath. This one is from the Hearth and Hand collection at Target. My colander from Ikea. And then over here, this dishcloth is actually from our shop and it does have a couple of different colors in the pack. They're the softest things in the world. And then the Tis the Season sign is from Target as well. Over here in the main area of our kitchen, we've got this super cute peg rail shelf that Chad built me. And I just love it so much. It's been one of the best things I think we've done in this kitchen was knock out the cabinets that were here and then build this shelf. So up here, I've got these really cute little houses. The wooden houses are from Target and they were in the dollar spot. They were just a couple of dollars. And then down here, we've got the really beautiful flocked wreath from our shop, House and Home. And I love this so much because it ties in so nicely with all of the other flock greens that I'm decorating with this year. And then our Christmas cheese platter is from our shop, but it did sell out on day one. That was such a popular item. And then I just threw our chambray oven mitt over here on this side. And I grabbed these super cute stems from Target. I got a couple of them just to kind of sprinkle throughout our home. And this one is so pretty with the frosted pine cones. So I just threw that in my big pitcher. And then over to the side of the sink here, I've got another little cake stand. I found these at the Target dollar spot a couple of years ago. And then I've got our hands and dishes glass soap dispensers. I love these to pieces. I've been using mine for, gosh, at least a year now. And they hold up so nicely. And they are from our shop house and home as well. And then the cutest little garland that is from the Target dollar spot. It might be a little challenging to see here, um, but look how cute this is. It's lit up, it's battery operated. It has a little bottle brush tree inside as well as some snow and I think it's just so cute. Then up above the cabinets here, I did add some flocked garland from Target. I believe it was $10, so it was super affordable. And then on my stove here, I've got our tree farm tea towel. That is from our shop, House and Home. This is probably my favorite tea towel we've ever carried in the shop. I just love the coloring and the design and that it goes all the way around the tea towel. And then over here on the stove, I have our Fraser Fur Soy candle from House and Home. We have some amazing soy candles that honestly smell so good. They don't give me a headache, which I'm really headache prone and they're just amazing. So we've got several different scents this season. And then I did throw on some little mini bottle brush trees. These are from House and Home as well. And I am just obsessed with them. I think they look so cute next to the candle. And then up here above the doorway to the dining room, I've got our sleigh ride sign from Target. This one was $10. And I'm just gonna ask you guys to forgive me that it is not centered. Chad is actually not home right now and he has his toolbox with all of his tools and nails. So I just stuck a tack up there for now just to kind of get an idea. So we will get that centered in this space, but I do just love it and think that it ties everything in so nicely with the different wood tones and the greens. I am just loving this space so much. So above the refrigerator, I took one of our house and home pitchers and then a Target pitcher and filled them with our boxwood and pine little stems from house and home. And I love the fullness of this. I think it looks really pretty up there. And then over on my cake stand, I added some little bottle brush flocked trees and you can probably see a stash of all kinds of things that have been thrown up on the refrigerator. So please forgive me because this is real life. And then over here by our little Vitamix smoothie station, I do have this really cute wreath. This one was, I think $3 from the Target dollar spot. 
and I've actually had that for a few years. And then our hobnail mugs, this is our most popular mug in our shop. It always sells so quickly and it's just honestly so cute with that hobnail detail. And over here we've got our Farm Fresh Christmas sign. This one is a heavy duty, super great quality wooden sign from our shop. And then I found this little tree at the Target dollar spot this year as well as the little tree uh, skirt, if you will, and I love it. It matches so nicely with the dining room decor. I have some pops of reds in there that I'm loving, so I just cannot get over this space. All right, so now it's time to decorate our little coffee bar turned hot cocoa bar. And I am so excited about this space. I have some new pieces that I'm gonna be using here as well as some old ones. And I just cannot wait to see how it turns out. I'm gonna be using some reds in here, which I have not really used much red in years past decorating for Christmas. Maybe just little hints here and there. But I'm honestly just kind of revolving this theme around my Santa mug so I'm gonna be just using lots of whites creams and reds over here and I hope that you guys enjoy it let me know have you ever decorated a hot cocoa bar before I would love to hear from you so let's go ahead and start decorating this space Okay, friends, I am totally in love with this space. I think that it turned out so stinking cute. I had to throw a little tea towel on the table there because we had a little mishap and our coffee maker basically just like exploded coffee everywhere. And so it ruined our table. I'm gonna have to repaint it. You can see the scratches there where the paint has kind of melted off, but I thought that adding that little pop of red with the tea towel was cute anyway, so it just honestly worked out and I feel like it kind of ties everything in together really nicely. And I just really love this super cute stoneware house from the Hearth and Hand collection at Target as well as the hot cocoa sign. And that is also where this tea towel was from too. It's just so perfect for this space. And I did throw in our little hot cocoa packets in there. I thought that was just the cutest little storage space. And honestly, with my kids being so little, if I put cookies in there, we would be in trouble. So um, I love these mango wood spoons that are from our shop, House and Home. Those ones are currently sold out, but we do have some really similar ones. And then up here with the Merry Christmas banner, it's just the most beautiful thing. And this is in our shop as well on our site in our Christmas collection. 
And my Santa mugs are all kind of from different places. So this one here is from Target and I love him. He's my favorite of the entire collection. And then over here we have this white one, which I love as well. It's from Hobby Lobby. And then so are the other red ones. So I guess just two different stores, but I have heard from so many friends that they have hit the jackpot at the dollar store. And even with these, these were only like three to $5. So super, super affordable. And I think they look so cute and I love the contrast. Uh, just that separation with those little white mugs. Those are from Ikea and were super cheap as well. So I hope that you guys love this space as much as I do and then it gives you some hot cocoa bar inspiration. Okay friends, that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you loved it, will you please give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed because I'm gonna be sharing my Christmas home tour on Monday the 16th and I can't wait for you guys to see it.